what's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duelist and today I'm doing a Battle in Boxer deck profile. So I'm really excited to for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Gloomba. And this deck is an extremely fun deck to play that just got some really cool support out of the most recent Duelist pack, taking this deck to a whole new level. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Gloomba some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Battle and Boxer Promoter. This card is a definite three up in the deck and one of the most powerful cards in the entire build. Because this card has the ability if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And while this card's on the field, you can actually tribute this card to special summon out any Battle and Boxer monsters you want from your deck to your side of the field that have different names and are not Promoter. Which is so cool to be able to just special summon out any two Battle and Boxer monsters that you want. I I love this card in the build and it helps out so much because this card is basically the rescue rabbit of the deck. It also has the ability you can banish this card from your graveyard and then increase or decrease the level of your battle and boxer monsters by one, which is a great effect to be able to do to make all of them level five or all of them level three, which is really helpful in this particular build to make XZ plays. It also has the ability that does lock you into battle and boxer monsters for the entire turn, which is a little bit of a downside, but that's usually all we're summoning anyways. But this is hands down the best support card we got out of the entire fire duelist pack for battle and boxer we then play three copies of battle and boxer uppercutter uppercutter is basically like the stratos of the deck it has the ability of its normal or special summon you can add a battle and boxer monster or a counter counter trap from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card and if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can special summon a battle and boxer monster from the grave except another copy of this card or set a counter counter trap from your grave to your side of the field but you can only use one effect this card per turn and only once that turn but this card is really good as a three of in the build we then play three copies of battle and boxer chief second chief second is a really cool three of in the build because this card actually gives you an additional normal summon in addition to your normal summoner set which is a great effect for this card to have to help you get more level fours on your side of the field so that you can go in for your plays it also has a really cool ability that when your opponent's monster declares an attack while you control a warrior or a fire monster you can special summon this card from your hand and if you do negate the attack then you can banish a monster from the field into the end phase which is a really cool ability for this card to have just to protect you from getting otk we then play three copies of Battle and Boxer Spar. Spar is a really cool three of in the build because this card is just an awesome extender overall in the build. Because if you control a Battle and Boxer monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, you cannot conduct your battle phase for the rest of the turn, which is not that big of a deal because if you're going first in this build, you're already not going to get a battle phase anyways. So it's not that big of a deal to lose your battle phase. And even if you're going in second, you can actually just special summon this card during main phase two after you've already conducted your battle phase since it sets for the rest of the turn which is really funny about this card but this card is a great extender because it's not a once per turn so if you have multiple copies you can just keep throwing them on the field which is really cool we then play two copies of Battle and Boxer Switch Hitter. Switch Hitter is actually my favorite Battle and Boxer card out of them all, and it has the ability when it's normal summon, you can actually target a Battle and Boxer monster in your graveyard and special summon that target, but you cannot special summon any monsters during the turn you activate this effect except Battle and Boxer monsters, which is not that big of a deal again because we're only usually summoning Battle and Boxer monsters. And definitely comment down below what your favorite Battle and Boxer monster is. We can play a single copy of Glassjaw. Glassjaw is such a cool card because it has a really awesome effect that when it's targeted for an attack, you destroy it, which is really funny on a 2,000 attack point monster that if your opponent targets it, it just destroys itself. It also has the ability when this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can actually target a battle and boxer monster in your graveyard except Glassjaw and add it back to your hand, which is great to be able to grab cards like Promoter or Uppercutter back out of the grave. We then play a single copy of Battle and Boxer Shadow. Shadow's just an awesome extender in the deck because during the main phase you can detach a material from a Battle and Boxer XZ monster that you control and if you do, special summon this card from your hand but you can only use it effect once per turn plus it has 1800 attack points so it's actually a pretty big normal summon in case you need to normal summon it. 
We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's just a fantastic hand trap overall and stopping your opponent from searching the deck, which is just really, really good. We then play three copies of Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird is really good at locking down your opponent's deck, and this card is just amazing this format. So it's a definite three of in the build. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Rhoda. Rhoda is a definite one of in the build because we are playing a warrior deck. We then play a single copy of Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is great in this particular build because it helps you get additional monsters on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is great in this build just to stopping your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays, especially since you want to guarantee that your copy of Promoter goes off. We then play a single copy of Battle and Boxing Spirit. This card is a really cool one of in the deck that lets you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Then you can target a Battle and Boxer monster in the graveyard and special summon that target in face up defense system. But you can only activate one of this card per turn. But it's a great one of in this particular build so that you can bring back one of your boxers from the graveyard and it's essentially a second copy of Monster Reborn. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is a definite three of in the deck because the extra deck does have a lot of room to be able to banish cards so that you can just dig into the deck for your copies of Promoter and get the exact cards that you need. This card is amazing in this deck as a three of just to help you dig into the deck to get the exact card that you need like your copies of Promoter. We then play three copies of Book of Moon. Book of Moon is really good right now and this card is amazing in the deck overall because it just helps you target a face up monster on the field and flip it face down which is really amazing for this card to be able to do especially dealing with cards that you might not want face up on your opponent's side of the field we then play three copies of rank up magic quick chaos we are playing a rank up magic build for this deck and this card is really good in this particular build especially since we're usually ranking up our monsters into the next number basically into a c version of themselves and this card helps you do that even during the battle phase because it's a quick play spell so you can otk your opponent really easily and let you target a number xz monster that you control except a number c monster and special summon from your x check one number c monster with the same name or same a number in its name as the target but one rank higher by using it as the XZ material and you transfer all the materials from the old XZ to the new one and attach that card as a material which is really cool I love this card in the build because there's actually a really spicy tech card that I'm playing in the extract that you can make with this card which is really amazing this card helps out a lot because you can actually attack your opponent and then drop this card and rank up your monster into a different XZ monster or the C version of it and then attack Attack again with the C version, giving your opponent a little bit more damage to OTK. This card is really good. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing a single copy of Battling Boxer Cross Counter. Cross Counter is a really awesome counter trap that has the ability that when your opponent activates a monster effect, destroy a Battling Boxer or a number XZ monster that you control, and if you do, negate the activation, and if you do that, destroy that monster. Then you can apply the following effect to special summon a Battling Boxer XZ monster from your extract with a different name than the first monster, and if you do, attach this card to to that monster instead as a material which is a really cool ability just to immediately attach this card as a material to guarantee that that card does have a material plus this card is searchable off your copy of uppercutter which is really nice we then play a single copy of Flameville Counter. Flameville Counter is really cool in this build. It lets you banish a fire monster in your graveyard with 200 defense points to negate the activation of a spell or trap card and destroy it. So basically you have a counter trap monster negate and a counter trap spell and trap negate. And you might be looking at this card and being like, wait, we're playing Battle and Boxer. We're not playing Flameville. What's going on? But you can actually use 
your copy of Uppercutter with it. And since this card is a counter counter trap, you can actually search it off of your Uppercutter, which is super cool. And Uppercutter does have 200 defense points, which works really well with Flameville Counter. I love that this card does have 200 defense. Konami knew, would know what they were doing when they made this card. Like they knew exactly what they were doing with Flameville Counter. I love that about this card. And it's just super cool to be able to see like old school cards fused into an archetype because of one new card. And this card is amazing in the deck because it gives you so much access. We then play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is just a great hand trap overall. It's stopping your opponent's monster effects, and you can also set this card to your side of the field to lock down entire columns of spells and traps, which is really nice. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to start off with three copies of King Dempsey. King Dempsey is the best XZ monster in the extra deck as your first XZ that you're going to be summoning. And has a really cool ability and if this card is special summoned, not if it's XZ summoned, if it's special summon, you can actually take a level four or lower fire warrior monster or a battle and box or spell or trap from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard, which is a great effect to be able to use with this card to get to the exact card that you need. And even if you bring this card back with like Monster Reborn, it still goes off to be able to use that ability, which is a great effect. It also has a really cool ability that quick effect, you can actually detach a material from a monster that you control. And if you do apply the following effect that your opponent cannot target battle and boxer monsters you control with card effects for the rest of the turn, giving you targeting protection, which is a great effect. We then play two copies of Lead Yoke. Lead Yoke is the original battle and boxer boss monster. And this card is still good in the deck because it can go up to 3,800 and can protect itself from being destroyed by battle or by card effects by just detaching material from this card which is really cool. We then play two copies of Nova Kaiser. Nova Kaiser is really cool in this build because we're going to use this card to rank up into our copy of C79, Battle and Boxer General Kaiser. So this card is a good two of in the build. You don't really use its effects all that much. You're just using this card as a stepping stone to step into the C version of it because the C version of it is absolutely nuts. We then play two copies of C79, Battle and Boxer, General Kaiser. This card is a definite two of in the deck and one of the best boss monsters in the entire build outside of King Dempsey. Because this card has the ability that it gains 200 attack for each material attached to it. And once per turn, when your opponent would special summon a monster, quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card. And if you do, negate the summon. And if you do that, destroy that monster. And if this card has a C set or a copy of number 79, Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser, the previous version of it, as a material, it also gains the ability that once per turn, when an attack is declared involving your Battle and Boxer monster and an opponent's monster, you can send a Battle and Boxer monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, attach an opponent's monster to this card as a material, which is a great ability just to basically eat one of your opponent's monsters. I love this card as a two of in the build, and it's so easy to make especially with promoters effect making it such an easy summon in the build because you can increase three of your battle and boxer monsters up to level five to hard make this card or you can rank it up with a rank up magic quick chaos which is really cool we then play a single copy of star cestus star cestus is just a great card overall in this particular build because it's a great stepping stone to make your copy of c105 which is a really cool boss monster that you can actually make in this build this card is great overall in the deck but you're usually just using this card to step into your copy of C105. We then play a single copy of C105, Comet Cestus. Comet Cestus is really good as a one of the deck. This card actually does a lot of burn damage to the opponent, which is great about this card because when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you and sends it to the graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that destroyed monster's original attack points. And if it has a copy of number 105 as a material, it gains the ability at once per turn. You can actually detach a material from this card and then target a monster that your opponent controls and destroy it. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to destroyed monster attack it had on the field which is actually crazy because if your opponent's monster is boosted up this card is going to do a lot of damage 
We then play a single copy of number 41, Baguska. Baguska is really good in this particular build because just in case you need to kind of slow down the game, this card does that for you, which is really nice. We then play a single copy of number 106, Giant Hand. Giant Hand is great in this deck because you can throw this card into defense solution and just use this card as a negate, which is really, really nice. We then play a single copy of C106, Giant Red Hand. This card is really good in this particular build because it's kind of like a dark ruler no more. That if this card has a number monster as an XZ material, it gains this effect. Then once per turn, during either player's turn, when a card or, or effect is activated on the field, detach a material from this card, and if you do, negate the effects of all their face-up cards currently on the field until the end of the turn, essentially being like a cold wave for the field. Plus, the best thing about playing these two cards in the deck is your opponent will in fact be catching these hands, which is really the best part. Like th th this is like really amazing for tech cards. We then play a single copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus is really good in this deck because Double A Zeus is just amazing in any XZ deck to basically just throw on top of an XZ monster and basically just board wipe the field, which is really, really cool. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Battle and Boxer before, it is the perfect time to pick this deck up because it's actually a relatively budget option, which is really nice for this particular build. You can replace some of the more like expensive cards in this build for cheaper alternatives, like playing Small World over Prosperity, if you guys want to do that so you can get to Promoter. But it's a really fun deck overall in this particular format because it's just really, really good. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys